Hello, hello, Jesse McDougall here at the Martial Arts it's of Money. It's Friday, the 24th of April, 2020. And uh, I'm <clears throat> going to do some interesting stuff here in this session. I'm going to be focusing on uh, where to get internet protocol addresses from. And so if you're wondering why this is important, because this is how you build your computer infrastructure where no one can touch you and now you are in the marketplace and you have services to provide. <clears throat> no middlemen straight to the source. And that, uh, so there's five regional internet registries in the world. And inter a regional internet registry, uh, like I said, there's five of them. And so the one in my area is called ARIN, A-R-I-N, and it's where a lot of business is done on these IPs in my industry. So what's going on here, this is, um, actually just one sec, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna get some water. Okay, I'm back, sorry about that. Yeah, um, I'm kind of switching brains right now. So like I wear different hats throughout the day as we all do for different tasks require a different set of skills. And so being a business owner, you have to be adaptable. To change and the only thing that's constant is change and so every business is a machine and the machine has its own specific parts and works its own specific way but it, at the end of the day when it comes to the money machine which is important um, it's just they're all machines or I call them economic engines or the money train so uh, what we have here what, what I'd like to achieve today is just go through here and give it our honest best effort of, of what we need to do to delegate the IPs from Aaron, and these are the gods that be of computers. There's no other supply chain. They have the governing authority for this. Um, it's just like my CPA designation. I have uh, the authority to sign off on publicly um, traded financial statements if I have my public accountant license so that's kind of a powerful thing that's a form one form of power just like an overhand left from powerhouse or having your own um, air and IP addresses so let's log in because there's a bit of history here too a eh? um, I got an email from Aaron And it was basically told me I got one, they, were, they wanted, I got to pay my annual fee, so they want $150. And uh, so, okay, give it to them for my block, you know, of IPs they gave me. And I looked up the block they gave, and it was, uh, I looked it up on IPv6, and it said one. So it was one IP. It's like, no, I need... I don't need actually need thousands or millions of them, but I just want a block of IP addresses so I could build my business. <laughs> so, and these people are very professional. You have nothing to worry about, you know, them. Because when you sometimes in internet marketing, uh, you know, people think you're a bad person or a scam or a spam or something. It's a very, um, very tricky industry to navigate. Lots of, charlatans for sure okay so let me I'm trying to find that email sorry here we go found it okay yeah i'll show you so this right here IPv6 address. Now I want to go to images. I don't know, but I want a uh, range. So all the numbers get very confusing. Like the further you go down the rabbit hole, the math rabbit hole. 
a lot of people are experts in mathematics. I'm not an expert in mathematics, but I am very good with mathematics. Okay, so IP addresses um, range there. See so that right there? Boom. So what pe there's people looking for IP, as I understand this, there's people looking for the term IP v6 example types format and range so guys like me i don't want to worry about this examples types form i don't care just give me a range of ip sixes Do table. Six. Now let's see if table. No, see, look, there's no table. So if I, you know, that's how you can start like getting search engine optimization traffic, which I'm not an expert in either, so that's not my strength or, or focus. Table. Table. There we go. Yeah, I guess I'm kind of uh, a bit uh, insecure, I guess, about posting on my personal Facebook. I think, and this is, but I think this is something I can get over. Okay, so the sooner I attack that, I'm avoiding, 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 and attack that weakness inside of me that I want to conquer, that I want to dominate, to be my best self. Yeah, so I should uh, think about that, but because if, you know, I'm not really in the, some guy's got all the information, man. You got good information, good guidance. Like, man, that could take you a long way. Me, I got like light posts of people in my life that I'm like, they don't have to tell me the nitty gritty. Just, just tell me the goal. Done. Goal achieved. <laughs> you have to pay me money. Just so I can help you. Okay, so what should we say here? IPv6. Hmm. That's actually, uh, hmm. I'm thinking I might want to put it in uh, Jesse McDougal now because the thing is when I just do stuff like, like I'm always like hiding my tricks and whatever right um, but but yeah as things have gone on naturally for the last you know whatever years um, I'm starting to kind of get I'm growing up right in ways that I wasn't before Yeah, because it does take a lot of self-confidence um, to put yourself out there. But see, for me, I've just been a fighter for 20 years. So I don't know. I've been playing sports that I could, since I was like five. So I'm always moving forward and performing, right? Okay, so but should we send this to... What do you think is going to be more effective? Uh, sending it to Orca Computers, which nobody is on? Or... Let's just go Jesse and give a Facebook so people can get an idea of what I do. It's, it's hard, man, when people are, you're trying to communicate them and they're like, what do you do? <laughs> and I'm like very vague with like, and they're like, so. Okay, who cares? All right, let's just post it here. 
the thing I learned with making these groups is that you don't build up the groups over time and you want good content. You get like 10 articles in your group that's like good content related to whatever you guys are talking about, then that's how people come in and they find you. Well, we'll do some of that stuff, some of those different, that's just a, a that's just a different data test. So I got to bounce to another comment here, but see here, let's see if we made any money. So I started, when I started this, uh, machine or this podcast 794 clicks so we got five more 799 all right so ipv6 okay so see here slash 48 to me looks like one IPv6, like what the frick? Prefix 48. Okay, so the, I think the prefix is the different type or whatever. Yeah, so you can have different prefixes, but it comes down to what is a slash 48? Slash 48, one. Oh, so it's like a matrix. One, one. <sighs> yeah. Like, I'm wasting my time so I gotta jump through hoops but um, I'm not like I put a lot of hours into this I'll say but it has been a long time because this is infra infrastructure stuff right and uh, now in RoboMail here you can see we got a couple guys loaded in Let's see if we'll configure show computers I got uh, buddy's trying to get set up here he's working on generating his DNS right now Buddy Morocco, that's me, and that's Bill. I haven't heard from Bill all day. Okay, so let's get signed in here. Gotta find my passwords. And I like the thing I like about our IP addresses are we're called Orca computers. And so this is how I don't mind showing you guys this stuff and all my secret information and <laughs> wizard behind the curtain or whatever because you can't hack this. You can't, you, there's no possible way that you could hack me right now. I'm gonna go take my authenticator and I put my authenticator in. So no matter, no matter how many hack movies you see uh, with like guys doing whatever, like nobody's getting past this. That's how secure I want my infrastructure. And boom, it's right here. So I even got it on Facebook too. So many scammers on there. Five, six, five, eight, two, two. Oh, what? Oh no, that was right. Oh. Five, six, five, eight, two, two. Oh man, this is not good. I'll boot my, uh, reboot my phone. So I've got one cell phone just for my authenticator codes.
Let's try it. See, and this is where I get so frustrated because I know it's not my fault. Like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and it doesn't work. And now I started this podcast and I want to show you guys the back end of how this works. Uh, it's nothing special. It's pretty good. Mechanically, it's very nice. It's a very good piece of equipment, 100% got the best people in the world in computer science right here. Shoot. You know, let's do this. Oops. Sorry guys, I forgot what we were doing. I know, oh, I wanted to try it on Chrome. Oh yes, go to Aaron on Chrome. So the person in charge of this, when you call them, pretty cool how many internet protocol addresses they're responsible for. That's pretty cool. Those are, would be because those numbers get big, and that gets uh, when you start talking about bandwidth and data transfer, and how much data you're moving, and how much is it costing you for internet which should be pretty minimal, um, even as a business owner. When we were sending 100 million emails a day, uh, we had our server, which I'm sitting beside right now. Um, it was downtown Toronto, right beside servers that were on the high frequency trading floors. Like, you can't make this shit up, man. This is true. <laughs> so that's why I'm making these videos here. and. So when you're building your business, you're gonna you always run into problems. Problems you look forward to problems because that's your opportunity to solve something and do a good job. And uh, one thing I'm learning is uh, 
I really, I guess where I'm comfortable in life is I don't talk to people. I like it that way. But uh, that's definitely got to change, and that will change. That's just one of the drawbacks from working at home like I do in uh, uh, solitude. So this really sucks. So let's call Aaron, and let's see what's going to happen. And so I know it's 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, and they're probably a couple hours ahead of me or something. But if they say a number and I just call, right? I just want to see if they pick up. But I'm going to put this uh, phone call on hold. Because you don't want to be doing stuff like recording people while they're talking and showing it to the world, like especially on sensitive stuff like this. That's not ethical. So, okay, so I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, we are back and we are in. And that was, an, well, it was an exciting phone call. It was a valuable phone call. Actually talking to someone. And that's why I'm excited to keep digging further into my journey because as time goes on, I'm going to meet more and more and more people that are interested in kind of the stuff that I'm interested in, like the internet of things and autopilot money. So you want to get your own IPs, get yourself some autopilot money. You probably don't need your own IPs though, dude. You just don't. <laughs> this is a test for me. It could be a huge payoff. It's going to take a lot of grunt work. But it'll, that'll make Orca computers uh, future-proof. Like, we'll be on IPv6 um, infrastructure. So he basically said, I'm good to go. Like, I don't have to pay anyone anymore. So, any more money, he said. Like, basically, we got... Clear. Oh shoot, I'm sorry guys, I should have had my microphone up. Yeah, it makes a difference when you're talking close to your microphone when you're not. Okay, so basically, yeah, what I'm looking for is I want a portal. Okay, this here. Okay, so see what you see up there on the left? It says Orca Computers. That is the server that I'm looking at right now, right here. The screen on the right, we have the gods that be of controlling IP addresses for the internet. Big deal, big deal. Now, they have given me an allocation This is the allocation they gave me. Boom. I think, I don't know, I'll see what happens. I think this guy is, there's a chance he's wrong information he told me. <laughs> we'll see. But he said, he's like, we're not the technical guys, we're like the registry uh, side of things. Okay, so proof of contact, that's fine. Organization, that's fine. Network, what's this? Probably this. Somewhere. I can't click anything, it's not clickable. All right, handle. It's my handle, point of contact. Just let me do that. Maybe we should update that. Yeah, let's modify. Work of computers. She's like, she's looking at some stuff on my profiles or something. She's like, I'm not comfortable with our address being out there. And I'm like, eh, too late.
Asylum Office saved. So press submit. It just goes back to this. So jeepers. Let's go home. change their uh, oh see it didn't save see how's that even happen yeah but there's he said they're not the technical people but you have to be you have to be you have to give me some type of access to something in order for me to, I think it's called the delegation. I've got to delegate the addresses. And then the receiving side receives the delegation, pulls them in. And I'm not the guy for that. I'm hiring someone to do that with the no money that I have. And that's where, like, for me, I'm giving back by allowing people on to RoboMail and using it, making money on my network with my offers and not charging them any money. People need help, man. I need help. Okay, well, screw this, screw that. Uh, let's see if we can... It just doesn't make sense to me. next month I gotta pay these guys next month I just want to I don't want to be wait I don't want to chase something that's not here but I'm this far into the game and this deep that uh, you got to keep going right there's too much to gain this is a high gain problem solve so if I can solve this problem um, Yeah, no, and I'm serious. I have infinite jobs for people. No joke. Because I can set them up with an account at Orca Computers. And they can, you can log in. <clears throat> and get to work and start generating clicks like I am. do is ask the community
So, <clears throat> one thing I notice is, man, you're going to get roasted. Uh, and it sucks, man, because you get so passionate about something when you're writing and you're trying to communicate with someone and they just shit on you. <laughs> I used to be in this horde alliance uh, guild. All these little guilds, they alliance together and we had our forums and everyone had their own, you know, we had the whole community going on and all that. And didn't matter what I said, on point, on point, on point. Not for everyone, but it's still on point, on point, on point. Uh, some guy just starts chirping on me or whatever. And so you get, and that's what you get called getting flamed. You get flamed. I've been flamed hard, bro. <laughs> I'm not doing the victim card here, but, uh, but yeah, just communicating a little bit of my experience. Okay, so here on this screen is Internet Relay Chat. This was basically, I don't want to say how the internet started, but it was this, what, whatever, it was one of the first um, international instant relay chat pieces of software out there. And the cool thing is, it's open source. Oh, nice. Oh, is it networking? Shit, okay, I could join networking. Why does he have two hashes? Boom, look at that, just, oh, there's 1,200 people. This is computer networking, wow. Oh, you get an instant reply to. This dude, Communist Wolf, his name is. How do I copy? Okay, no people are talking. Wow, <laughs> dude, this Communist Wolf is pretty slick. Okay. <laughs> Damn, it's like these dudes are smart. Communist wolf. stuff <laughs> see now they're talking about different blocks yeah see these guys don't know I'm coming at this from an email servers right like I just want like these are properties all these um, you know when I get these IPs to my network here uh, now I literally have an infinite amount of properties now we just need people to work the properties. And I already know how to do that. I have guaranteed money. Let's get to work. <laughs> That's where this is going. It's, I've been doing this for seven years. So I know I'm almost 40 years old. I knew who I am. Uh, I achieve my goals and it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be an exciting time. <clears throat> So I like to join these groups because uh, you learn, right? You, you just learn how, like, listen to what these people are talking about. See right here, they're talking about IPv6 and egotistical. Like, if you know how to do IPv6, like, 
man, you got skills, bro. Um, but he's like, yeah, you're not really anyone in IPv6 until you got a slash 32, which I don't know how much that is. That's why I always need my IP chart. Okay, so is it correct? I can't get a straight answer. That's the problem. I like I don't need such a complex answer. I need a binary, narrow-minded answer. So when people ask me narrow-minded questions, pointed questions, that is just honestly they're being a bit disrespectful and it's none of their business what they're asking. It all depends on the person, right? Like I'll talk to a person, but you know, there's there's schemers out there too, right? I don't even know what to say to this guy. Okay, well, let's just, let's talk and think. So he said here, it's both. So, What's the context? So I don't know what context is. I mean, I know what context is, but what is he talking about from a computer science mindset? And people will help you, but you gotta do your own work. Computer guys need to make sense too. <laughs> the parts of a written or spoken statement that precedes or f follow a specific word or passage, usually influencing is its meaning or effect. The set of circumstances or facts that surround a particular event situation. Oh, okay. He wants some. He wants to know about the environment. The environment, the situation, right? This guy, I only asked one question, so how's this guy gonna know? The two fifths. action.
Communist Wolf says it's one IPv6 network. 96 bits in size. I don't know what that means. And what's one network, Jesse? Uh, I guess I guess what I can do here is uh, this is a good question for my friend and a valid question too. He's working on a couple issues for me right now, so. But this is a big one for sure. But I got to pay this by next week, so I need to get this answer pronto. talking to me and I get scared. We all do. I have no idea what one IP, like what do you mean talking about one IP? What is, what is there, I don't get it. I don't get it. How do you not understand what one IP version 6 means? Okay, let's see how much longer I got. We got so we got a while still here. Got to go over to Pat's house. My brother-in-law. Officially on August seventh, we get married. Okay, there we go. Boom. Yeah, I gotta get this. Uh, See, so they all talk in slashes, right? And so the first two years of this industry, my job was to buy servers and IPs. There we go. Oh. That's good. V6, okay, let's see here. 48, yeah, shoot. <laughs> I still don't like it, okay, because what I'm comparing it to is this over here, IPv4. I'm going to say, oh, get a slash 27, boom, 32 IP addresses, go get yourself 32 domains, boom, 32 email lists, done. Let's get building.
And so, uh, how many IPs did we use today? I think we used like eight a day, maybe. I can't remember how many, but I was buying the most. We would we wouldn't go anything bigger than a than a slash twenty four, two hundred fifty six IPs. We're spending like two G's a pop on those, and uh, yeah, we there was time. I remember Christmas, and my old business partner he was uh, testing, testing, trying to do his best. Boom, he was getting uh, spam block lists, and our entire revenue stream goes down. And we're just blocked by. But he, here's the thing: is you you can even send email to IP addresses that have spam house blacklists and blocks on the domain you can still make money from them that's the coolest thing about email marketing is you can make money <clears throat> okay so here yeah so that's so let's just move this over here so I try to follow But see, I skim it because I process so much data in a day. You can can't get lost in the rabbit hole here. But we got time. Got a little bit of downtime here before King Pat's house. Okay, so I'm gonna say, hey, elite god or elite god. Does that mean I can build? I mean, that's I, that's I don't know how big that is. That's scientific notation there. Okay, um, I just gotta get this right because <clears throat> this could be a so this by taking action. Just a martial arts uh, thing here for a sec. For every action, there's a reaction. There's a consequence. Action, reaction, consequence. Action, reaction, consequence. If I hit the guy one, boom, and his reaction just to do nothing, the reaction is me hit him again. Third is the hook, consequence, done. But if I hit him once and then he comes, charges me, then I'm gonna back down or something. You know, I'm, just, I'm not just gonna attack, so. Yeah. There's a set of skills I need you to master to be <clears throat> future proof ninja man. Like, you can do all the black hat stuff you want. I know you guys are all like asking me about black hat this and that. And I'm like, some of the stuff very interesting, and uh, some of the stuff I don't even comment. But like, I'm going to equip you with power and give you the tools and the know how to navigate this digital ocean for yourself and get money. And help a lot of people, preferably. But if you want to steal from people, that's on you. That's not on me. Okay, so does that mean I can build a whole bunch of computers?
Okay, boom. Set a leak guide, I see. Does that mean I can build that many computers and assign them each a mutually exclusive IP6 address so that nothing on one computer interferes with the other? Responses, assuming that all computers are behind the same router, I think. Gotta be careful here. I got I got kicked out of one CentOS group before. I don't know if I was kicked out of there. Screw the. I think I am actually. Um, the way I was trying to communicate with him. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to say this. They're talking to me. Yeah, so do I want it to be on the same network? No, what I want to do is, it's just a way I can create more uh, accounts and email lists. That's all it is. This is insane. Because here's the thing, right on here, show computers, we got these guys. Okay, so these guys are taking up a license and they only have one IP, including me. I forget how you get to it. Let's see if that you fix that webmail. No, webmail's still down. 
yeah, so <clears throat> here you can route in, we can write in, route in a block for sure and divide up all the IPs among, among the, uh, among the, the, the license, the tunnel. <clears throat> so the tunnel can pull in multiple IP addresses. <clears throat> and so each of these used to have, you know, we know we need two, 256 IP version 4s times 20. And then we have 20 servers. But we never actually got up to 20 servers. The most we ever got was like 5 or 6. So I don't think you need big servers anymore, but you could. Right, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I know the mail I'm delivering to is Comcast and cables, and uh, I, I sent out a, a death and taxes email with the subject line, got like 400 clicks, and it was all to uh, business to business people that are general internet people, which I have a list of 9.7 million people. How much time do we got here? 20 minutes. I'd like to task switch and hop on here uh, and look to see if I can find that file, but. I'm not going to do that because the experience has taught me not to task switch, try to focus on one thing at a time. <clears throat> this guy here, here. I think I have 100 IPv6 in my net plan config file on my VPS. They just give these away for free. And f so far, I can't use them all. It's mostly to assign them for one ZNC user. What's a ZNC? I think it's some, I don't know what it is. I'm not going to try to guess. <laughs> it's just personally, I say, let suckers move to IPv6 and then smart people will have enough. IP for addresses, that's so true. Because they'll be in control of what other people want. IPv4 will always be more valuable than IPv6. I shouldn't say that, that's just the way people look at things. <laughs> what is a ZNC user? Okay, cool. These guys talk about cool stuff. We're talking about like networking. Oh, this is, I'm in Linux right now. Shoot, I thought I was in networking the whole time. Okay, so what can we conclude? We can conclude that we've got a lot of IP addresses. Okay, that's a simple question I can ask to my friend. I feel like I could email him. This is a pretty important thing. Well, it's Friday, so. Okay, so we need some more information. <clears throat> uh, but we need to make a decision. We can't just ponder on this. It's, this is important too. So I guess I'm got to send this email to...
so you know what it's so funny um not funny uh it just well it's rewarding is what it is uh when i just cut between the bullshit get down to business you produce results take over move forward power is passed along to me right i pass along to other people you build the tribe you build the community it's a movement get to work Sit on your ass too if you want to smoke weed. That's fine. I have no problem with that. Just uh, in this here, if you want to make money, you have to produce results. <laughs> it's just there's no way around it. You have to do work. Okay, so we can shut this down now. Why don't we take a quick look on... Okay. How much time so I'd say we completed a task there I'm not going to email my friend because he's going to email me back maybe this weekend or maybe next week or something about the links on the SMS messages messaging <clears throat> so last year uh, my hard drives froze and I spent three, four months trying to, or my hard drive died, I tried three, four months recovering stuff. It just, it was an absolute nightmare. You can, you should get, <laughs> I've already blogged about that. We're not doing that again. So on the left screen, we have Orca Computers, which is the server we're recording from. That's pretty cool. Recording live from a money machine. Um, now on the right hand side, I want to find the reason why I have so many terminals up too is because I frequent these often. Like this is the tree of Jesse here. This is top. This is uh, virtual hosting, which you probably should do right now. Do you have time? No, we don't. So we're just going to see if we can pull a rabbit or a hat here and get this done. But Okay, so I don't know where the date is. So no, I gotta find the data cabinet. How do you do that? Is it not LS mod? See, there's all these things. <laughs> like, no, it's not LS mod. Um, I just don't remember the I don't remember all the syntax from all the different stuff I have, right? All the different languages. Bunk. So I thought it was, I did ls mod, no it's ls bunk. Okay, there's a data cabinet, bingo, make an action. So that's where we need our backups to go. So that's the mount point, so then it is in run, I believe. Oh, I thought it would be in run. Oh, yeah, it is right there. Perfect. Yeah. Media. M D A 
DM that's related to parades. Orca. Bomb data cabo. Okay. 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 Progress. One second, I'll let my cat in. Yeah, we got, I got to go soon here. Um, FLV, I forgot what that is. Backups. Are we even doing backups? We might even be doing backups. July 9th. Let's not hold on. I can't remember who did that. Okay. Okay, so the RAID 5, this here, I had for sure, could be more, it's definitely not less, 100 million customer records on those hard drives. Boom, gone, done. I spent a long time, I invested a long time, I just want to see where go to recover them. I learned so much in the process and basically my I had to bring it to my buddy and he just basically just, he had to do his thing, like let it go, Jess. But it was an excellent learning um, experience. I learned a lot about UUIDs. That's the way you can identify things on a computer. If it, a device, if it has a UUID, it's a lot quicker than, uh, you know, over here, SDMD one twenty six is three point seven. That's not terabytes. Is it? No space. Okay, so RAID five backup. So CentOS root. CentOS six root. So no, um, because my friend told me, I have 9.7 million email records in my general email list. That CentOS root file looks old too. November 28th, 2018. Hmm. So I'm not really sure what to do here. I'm just gonna, we did a little bit of investigative work. I and mean, if you look at how long this took me to, to just to kind of get in here and focus, not a lot of time, can get a lot of value or a lot of information, get a lot of questions answered. Move forward, move forward, move forward. Yeah, I definitely want to up my productivity in terms of how many tasks I complete. And so what I'm focused on is just onboarding people onto the system because uh, I can make an infinite amount of accounts for people. Um, I'll have to figure out how to do these IPv6s. I could do that. You have to buy a domain. And from there, it's, it's up to you. If you don't have data, we got data you can just play around with and you get you started. And I don't want to talk anything.
something large in that. Like, that's what I want the conversation to be. I don't want to talk things about the next step and this and that. Like, just focus on what you need to do and follow my guidance. I remember seeing a file type and it was the backup. So I remember before we installed RoboMail on the SSD, we backed it up. And that's where the 9.7 people are, 9.7 million people. So they're somewhere on this computer. We know this. somewhere in this directory that's for sure <clears throat> okay well we gotta wrap it up here guys and uh, I kind of enjoyed that I know today was a bit different um, like it was mostly hanging this is more of a non-technical session you have to guys you have to combine the two though man I gotta tell you you're an artist you gotta know the tech if you're a tech you gotta know the art that's the way you stay future proof and you future proof your family and you make more bags of money just knowing how to do this stuff but let's check how many clicks we got and then we'll bounce Check our uh, clicks per hour. Okay, so we got clicks divided by number of hours, 220, 3.6, it's going up. <clears throat> Holy crap. Okay. Uh, look, you'll talk to Ram. So it's kind of annoying. See, in a Firefox here, it doesn't show these icons. Could be the dark theme. So let me take my dark theme off. I can barely see that. Okay, I just want to send them that. money is that anyway see like now I'm glad I'm showing you guys this because I'm taking the machine side and I'm helping you right that's my purpose here is taking the machine side and then combining with the art side and doing the two there's not a lot of guy I think I, I don't know when it's going to be but there's going to be a time where maybe 10 years from now five years I don't know where you have to be a super affiliate. 
you got to know the skills of what it takes to be a super affiliate. You might not have to reach the super affiliate status and be known and popular, but you could definitely reach the super affiliate just and make half a mil at home. Like it's possible, a hundred grand is possible, like a hundred percent for sure, two thousand percent, uh, five hundred is it really is. Uh, you just gotta make, you just gotta play the game, the business game. So, so I wasn't preaching there, but okay. So I just want to get the facts straight. I'm getting excited. That's what's happening. So this guy is basically telling me we've got this many IP addresses, which is infinite. I can make an infinite amount of screens at Orca Computers. Boom. Login screen. Done. Now, what is my bottleneck from here? My bottleneck is the number of licenses I have. But that's where it gets interesting because you could just uh, show computers. Yeah, okay, so here's the DNS generation, and this is the part uh, someone's actually working on right now. So I've got two people currently going through this process, um, and I like to use my GoDaddy, um, it's my API key right there. So it just automates everything. So you put your domains and IPs. Now from here, you can put in like those trillion IPs that I have. IPs, the infinite IPs, and each infinite IP has its own unique IP address. And so you put the domains in here, and you put the that's the IPv4. But then here, IPv6 range, or I put the range in here. Total IPv6 increment. So you know, there's some stuff here that they've already figured out. So that's where you, pr you would just basically assign them, I think. Yeah, oh, I forget what it's called. You gotta like, yeah, I think it's called delegate. I've gotta delegate, or it's called an allocation. They have to be allocated. They've already been allocated Calib to me, so I need to make do something else now. And this is expert level stuff, right? <laughs> So I don't know that answer. That's why my friend might be able to help me with it. Let's check. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up here, guys. Okay, boom, eight ten. Yeah, we got one. All right, guys. Kate, it's been a great day, and thank you for listening. And uh, if you want to get in touch, just get in touch. Uh, give me a call six zero four four seven four two four eight four six zero four four seven four two four eight four. Or just hit me up on Facebook or whatever. Just to go get yourself a VPS with Cento 7 on it and buy yourself a domain and then message me and then SSH into that machine and then type sudo yum update. Update your operating system to the most recent version. Then give me the uh, IP address and the password and then we'll get you set up and ready to go. Does that sound good, everybody? Great. And no bullshit i got today as of today i got room for 16 more people after 16 people people are paying three grand a pop to get into this club i gotta make money too guys and i think that's fair all right okay great have an awesome day guys take care